Hey guys, John here. Just one sec, alright? Hey man, get over here. I just started recording. Sorry dude, it's cool, it's cool. Let's do this though, alright? Yeah, you know what we're doing? Yeah, I already got it all planned out, man. I just need your help with the intro. So you ready to do this? Yeah, definitely. Okay, well let's do it then, alright? Yeah. One, two, three. Hey, hey guys, guys, this is John here, here and you're watching Tip, Tip of the Week. week. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hey there guys, this is the real John here. And now that we've gotten rid of those two imposters, we can get down to business. What I wanted to do for this week's episode of Tip of the Week was to share with you five quick fishing related tips that will help make your life just a little bit easier when you're out on the water. So let's take a look at what we got here. Our first tip actually revolves around braided lines. Now while many of us understand the benefits and virtues of braided lines, they do also have their drawbacks as well. Such as when it comes time to cut or retie your line, it can be rather difficult. Now, you can of course bring along a dedicated tool, such as a pair of scissors, for the task. Or, as many of us fishermen like to do, especially with our monofilament, a standard pair of nail clippers. However, as you can see here, it is not very efficient with the braided lines. It does not work very well. What I like to do is carry along one of these. And this is just a standard letter opener. As you can see here, slices right through the line, no trouble at all, cuts through it like butter. It's very thin and can fit in your fishing vest pocket, your back pocket, or as I like to do, attach a simple clip and clip it to my fishing vest. If you spend any significant amount of time on the water, you've more than likely lost your share of gear overboard, such as your sunglasses, possibly your fishing pliers, or worst case scenario, your boat key, as I've done in the past. One solution around this that's free is to utilize the cork from a bottle, such as a bottle of champagne or cider. Simply drill a hole through the cork and attach whatever piece of gear you don't want to lose. In this case, I've attached it to my sunglasses, as I tend to lose those a lot. Now, in the event that you drop these into the water, you stand a very good chance of retrieving them. Our next tip revolves around organization of sorts. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I delve into my tackle box to grab some terminal tackle, it always comes out looking like that, a big old tangled mess. Now, one easy solution to that that I've came across is to simply utilize safety pins. And what that allows you to do is to organize your terminal tackle in such a manner as to keep it organized and easily accessible. One common annoyance while fishing is the sometime development of knots in your line, such as you see here. Now, this leads to weakness of the line and can ultimately lead to breakage of the line during a fight, which is the last thing you want. A good solution for that, to getting those knots untied, is a hook. You simply insert the hook into the knot and it will help work it loose just enough for you to have access to it a little bit more and ultimately be able to untie it. Just takes a little bit of work. Our last quick tip revolves around monofilament line, specifically memory retention. Now the problem that you encounter with monofilament line is that it often comes in these larger spools and it's been spooled on there for a while and memory retention means that the line is used to being in a larger coil. Now, when you go to re-spool, you're putting on in much smaller loops, of course. Now, what's going to happen is the first couple times you go to use this, especially right after you've spooled, is that line is going to want to return to its original size, its original state. And what that means, it's going to come flying up the spool and you're going to end up with a snarled mess. Now, a simple way around that is to simply run your freshly spooled line under warm tap water for a few seconds, which will completely dissipate the memory retention that it has and allowing you trouble-free operation of your new monofilament, freshly spooled line right off the box. Well, that's about all there is to it, guys. Just five really simple little tips here. Now, I hope one or two of these may help you when you're out on the water. 
Now, before we go, I would like to say thanks a lot for watching. Thank you very much for all the encouragement and support that you've extended my way. It is truly appreciated. Until next time, you guys take the best of care, and we'll be seeing you soon.